Hello and welcome to whiskey.com, where fine spirits meet. My name is Ben Luning, I'm the master taster of whiskey.com, and this is Horst Luning, the senior taster of whiskey.com. And today we are presenting you the whiskey.com awards of February 2023. And yeah, there's nothing there, but <laughs> we have our bottles here and we're gonna show you. But uh, there was a, a big discussion about who comes on first place and who comes on yeah, and we have a lot third, of whiskeys and we have a lot of, so very good whiskeys let's yeah. start with the nominations you have a bit of a a newcomer yeah. and outsider coming yeah, in really. as a nomination this is called the anjaba it's from <laughs> namibia and it's a three grain whiskey and it's 46 percent abv and is wonderfully made and for a at least for me, new distillery. Uh, they are a, uh, a bodega, a wine. Oh, wine bodega. Mm -hmm. Yeah, wine bodega. So there's and elephant leather on the top? Or <laughs> I, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so this is honorably mentioned, but unfortunately didn't make it on the um, on the podest. And this is uh, close to 70 euros, dollars, pounds. Ooh, so it's not that cheap. Oh, yeah, you see, there's an elephant shape here in yeah, front. Of, yeah. There's an elephant on top. <laughs> there's a white paper on top. No, <laughs> nah, you're kidding. Yeah, so this is honorable mentioned. Yeah, mine has a, a <laughs> yellow spot on top. It's the yellow spot uh, that actually yours doesn't come in a tube, right? Um, no, no tube yeah, at all. No tube. That was a naked bottle. Here we have the uh, the yellow spot, 12 years old, and I ex actually had last time I had the the, the green spot. And that is vastly different from the green spot. It's the really the jazzed up version of the green spot. It's uh, really good. Um, it has a, a yeah, juicy, it's uh, relatively expensive as well. It costs about around 60, 70 uh, euros, dollars. So yeah. And it's I the, remember there had been a red spot as well. Yes, but I So didn't they had a color it. coding on their casks. Yeah. And uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I think you have the number three. Yes, and uh, this bottle, unfortunately, <laughs> got some friends, <laughs> so no longer that that filled up. It's a Jivers uh, Regal, twenty-five years old, and this is really a good one, and I like it very, very much. It's a blended whiskey, but with a quite a high malt whiskey content, and there's a wonderful box with it and uh yeah it's a <laughs> uh a very smooth well sipping uh not uh well not that harsh whiskey it just runs down your throat it's and it's, the box has a button yeah, to open <laughs> so it's, it's very well done but unfortunately it's not that cheap it's uh well i think below 300 in most parts Ooh. of the world oh, okay and uh, unfortunately, it's not always available. So this is uh, quite rare. So I d didn't think, I, I didn't thought about putting it on the uh, on the number three, but you said, if it's that good, put it on the three, yeah. but you won't be happy looking for that. <laughs> yeah, if you go to a value price ratio, then maybe the other <laughs> whiskeys should have deserved the number three. And yeah, so the next up is also a newcomer. I actually made it onto Silver Place. It's the Razai. And it comes in a box and it's pretty nice because the box uh, sh still shows you what the color of the whiskey is. And the interesting thing about the Isle of Razai, I've mentioned in the video, is their uh, cask choice. Yeah, you already see that on the side mm -hmm. because they are matured in peated ex rye whiskey casks. And finished in ex Rosa and yeah. Pedro this sherry, so a lot. And island population 161. Yeah, that's the Isle <laughs> of Razai for you. So the, the interesting, so it's just a very well made three to four year old whiskey. That's not an old whiskey, don't expect age maturation in there it's just a uh it just shows that you don't always have to cling on to the bourbon casks as a standard uh maturation and uh, a rye cask maturation as a standard maturation can be a very effective way of having a spicy rough island whiskey. 
PD as well. Yeah, a little PD as well. Um, mm -hmm. They're producing PD and non PD. So, but that was it with the <laughs> silver. And now let's go for the gold. Yeah, it's a. Uh, yeah, if you've followed the channel, then you you will see. Do you have. Ah, here's the box. Mm -hmm. Here's the box. Oh. And. Uh, then you probably guessed that that one is the best because it's just beloved. It's uh, a wonderfully lightly peated, uh, nicely sipping 21 year old Ben Romach. Um, if and I remember right, the Ben Romach distillery was bought by Gordon and McPhail, mm -hmm. I think close to the year 2000. And this might be the first 21 years old from the new distillery uh, from the rebuilt mm -hmm. distillery yeah probably 21 years is also uh, just a, a very nice age so the, the really the, the shining age for the whiskies is between 18 to 21 it may differ from distillery to distillery and it's just uh, so so nice juicy fruity little bit of smokiness little bit of spiciness in there just Gives you everything you expect, expect of a, a really good Scotch whiskey, so that's why it has the uh, gold award. And it's not that cheap as well. Yeah, so it's uh, <laughs> still below two hundred, but probably not in every country. Yeah, around hundred fifty, you can yeah. get it, maybe a bit above that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so um, yeah, we will might might see that again because it's just such a, a wonderful <laughs> whiskey. Yeah. Good. That was our best whiskies, our whiskey.com awards for February 2023. The best is the Ben Romach 21. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time.